Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the latest signature fragrance from Tom Ford, Metalique. Before we begin, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink, sparkly, positivity-filled bubble on YouTube, where we talk about our love of luxury, beauty, fragrance, and so much more. So if that sounds like something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another thing. I absolutely love talking about fragrance with you guys, reading your recommendations, your stories, your thoughts and reviews. Considering you cannot see fragrance, of course you can see the packaging, you can see the bottle, but you cannot see the notes or the scent itself. I feel like I learned so much about each of you by reading your comments. I suppose fragrance is just so personal that you can tell a lot about somebody by the fragrances that they lean towards or like to wear. Tom Ford's Metalique is a fragrance that I have loved to wear ever since it came out. I mentioned it as one of my favorite fall fragrances for 2019, but at the time I created that video, I did not own it. So here she is in all of her glory. Let's go ahead and open her up. You can see the exterior packaging is silver with the gold details. So beautiful, of course it fits the name perfectly. Metalique, metallic packaging. And this really stands out on the fragrance wall as well. When you are shopping for fragrance and you're looking at all of the unique bottles and all of the packaging, I think this is something that just will draw your attention. And then the bottle itself is also silver with little gold details. It is so beautiful. I imagine this is just a metallic plated glass or else it would probably be a lot heavier, but it feels cold to the touch. It holds temperature. I can see the sweat and the heat from my hands on the bottle. You could also see little fingerprints everywhere, which will probably drive me crazy, but it is truly a very chic bottle, very beautiful. Metalique is available in a 1.7 and 3.4 ounce bottle. I believe the 1.7 retails for $150, and then the 3.4, which is what I have here, is $195. It's described as willful, addictive, with elegant brilliance, a modern femininity. The top notes are crisp pink peppercorn, aldehydes. It has a heart of heliotrope, ambrette seed, and Peru balsam, and a base of vanilla and sandalwood. One of the interesting points of difference about Metalique is that it falls under the olfactive category of floral aldehyde. And if you're familiar with aldehyde fragrances, you probably are aware that the most popular and what is sometimes known as the first aldehyde fragrance is Chanel No. 5, which is one of these once-in-a-lifetime sort of iconic fragrances. I don't know if Metalique will ever reach the type of status that Chanel No. 5 has, and yet this is such a soft, modern interpretation. So I think it is so interesting. I, I don't know if they set out to create the modern version of Number 5, but I think they certainly succeeded in creating an aldehyde fragrance for the modern woman. So a lot of younger women are not going to want to pick up a Chanel number no. five for themselves. Maybe it's something that they would purchase for their mother or for their grandmother as a gift, but they're not necessarily going to wear it. But this gives that same sort of breathy, airy, just beautiful there while simultaneously not being there type of fragrance. You truly have to smell it to understand. The aldehydes give it this crispness. It's almost like, I think, I believe I described this as that first cold fall morning or fresh snow. It really does have a temperature, which I love because it ties back to the bottle being cold and metal. And you look at this fragrance and it looks cold, but then it has the little details of gold. So it has a touch of warmth in there as well. And I think the vanilla and the sandalwood in the base do give it a little bit of a warmth, a slight sensuality, but this is truly a fresh fragrance. It is not overly floral. It is just sort of intoxicating and addictive and so lovely. Another description I read online that I thought was so beautiful and such a perfect way to describe this fragrance was that it is like a sheath dress, like a metallic sheath on top of an embroidered dress. It gives this layer of something so special and yet it's almost like 
it doesn't even exist. Like it's not even there. Like it's your skin that just smells this nice. <laughs> Truly, it is so special. I sprayed it a few times whenever I was taking video of the bottle. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my skin. The mister is very fine, which I love. I cannot stand when you spray a fragrance and it just kind of squirts out of the bottle. I love a fine mist. It's just a little detail, but it makes the entire experience more elegant, a little bit more elevated. It is so fresh and feminine. It almost has a slight powderiness to it, but it's still very refined and modern. Mmm. With a lot of other Tom Ford fragrances, especially Private Blend, I feel like people are sometimes turned off when they smell the fragrance initially and they think it is too strong, it's too bold and too overpowering for them. And there really is only the Eau de Parfum version. There really aren't a lot of Eau de Toilettes. There are a couple Aquas in the fresh category, but you don't have a corresponding Eau de Toilette for the entire range of Private Blend. When it comes to their signature fragrances and Metalik in particular, it's soft right off the bat. It is never going to be too bold and too overpowering. You could spray the fragrance and smell it, spray it directly on your skin, and it's always soft and sort of breathy and airy. And it's going to maintain that sort of fresh, crisp softness throughout the life of the fragrance. This is more of a personal fragrance. You have this beautiful sort of soft, halo aura around you where somebody has to be a little bit closer to truly appreciate the fragrance. And I think there's something really nice and elegant about that. Mm. It's so beautiful. In many ways, Metalik is an incredibly unique fragrance, but I also find some similarities between Metalik and the brand new Private Blend Collection fragrance Soleil Neige, which is Kind of a sister fragrance i suppose with soleil blanc so it comes in the same white packaging except it has a silver nameplate instead of gold it's also a very crisp refreshing kind of fall wintry scent it's inspired by a fresh powdery snow and winter but to me i suppose a metallique and soleil neige serve the same purpose. So it's not that the fragrance itself smells the same because it doesn't. They're both very soft, feminine fragrances. They're very reminiscent of fall, winter, a fresh snow, crisp, they're not too heavy. I don't know if they did that on purpose so that if somebody wanted to maybe pay a lower price point, they could go with Metalik. Whereas if somebody really loves Private Blend and they like collecting the bottles, they could go with Soleil Neige but I just don't see the purpose of owning them both. I think it's the type of fragrance where you could choose one or the other to add to your collection. For the Private Blend Collector, Soleil Neige will be beautiful, but if you're looking for a new fragrance from Tom Ford that's going to be perfect for daily use, you could wear it for evening, special occasions, just something new, I think between the two, Metalik just stands out a little bit more for me personally. It is truly addictive. I think it is perfect for layering fragrances if you're somebody who likes to kind of customize your own scent. I look forward to using this in addition to my Soleil Neige Shimmering Body Oil. I think a layer of the body oil and then a spritz of this fragrance on top will just be perfection. I'm so excited. <laughs> that will probably be just the most beautiful winter fragrance. I have a couple trips coming up for the holidays, so I imagine that I will also take this with me because it's that type of versatile fragrance that goes with you anywhere. It's not incredibly long wearing. I do feel like the scent lingers because it does have vanilla and vanilla is one of those notes that for whatever reason, it sticks to me like glue and I will smell it hours later. If you're someone who loves and appreciates a bold, strong fragrance, you want people to smell you the moment you walk in the room, you will probably be disappointed by Metalik. This is not the fragrance for you. The imagery and the campaign for Metalik is very overtly sexual. It is very fierce and feminine. There are shots of this woman and she has this kind of metallic skin. There's even a shot of the fragrance just kind of dripping over her naked body and it's very 
Tom Ford, you know, what you would expect from Tom Ford, but it's sort of funny because as much as I love the fragrance and the bottle is very sleek and chic, I don't necessarily feel like the campaign fits the fragrance. The campaign is very loud and out there and sort of dark and menacing. And this is such a soft, airy, feminine scent. It's not in your face whatsoever. I think this is also a beautiful fragrance for men. And even the bottle itself, I think would look very perfect on a man's vanity as well as a woman's. This would be perfect with my collection. It would be perfect with my husband's collection. And I know a lot of men at my workplace who love to wear Metalique. And at first I thought, no, I don't see it. You know, I don't think this is going to be right for you. Whenever I heard men say like they liked wearing Metalique too, I thought, really? Are you sure? I'm not sure how I feel about this, but no, I stand corrected. It is such a beautiful fragrance on a man. There's just something about, I suppose maybe the sandalwood and the wood and the base notes that smells very beautiful. Um, on a man as well. We've gone over just about every detail there is to know about this fragrance, but my overall thoughts and review of Metalique are that it is a beautiful fragrance. It is collection worthy. This is the type of fragrance that is not just simply sweet or floral. It's unlike anything that you own, even if you also own a lot of floral aldehyde fragrances. I'm a little bit nervous that it's going to dominate the rest of my fragrances. I don't know if I will grab many other fragrances for the next few months. This is something that I'm going to get so much use out of. It's very beautiful. And that completes today's unboxing and review. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and now you are intrigued to smell Metalique for yourself. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. If you've tried it, if you're going to try it, drop me a comment so we can keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking the fragrance as well as everything that I used today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.